Hello, this is Michael McCarthy. In this video, we're gonna take a look at using Ornatrix to generate some hair. In this case, we're taking this model. We have this great model from uh, Turbo Squid of an uh, athletic female. In a previous video, we've uh, taken this character and we've gone from splines to guides and then a symmetry modifier and then we've grounded the strands to our scalp. So here you can see just our hair and our scalp. And this is a very common workflow people will use to kind of set up their guides and hair. Now, uh, what we're going to look at specifically today is how to use a guide setup like this to create hair that really conforms to these guides. Now, the issue with these guides is that there really isn't enough of them to inform the hair generation properly because all of them are kind of created right here at the edge of the scalp and there are no guides created on anywhere else uh, uh, for the head. So when we do go and generate hair, we'll just go in uh, and add hair from guides modifier, you can see that we get this you know, huge kind of crazy poof. I'm going to add my render settings modifier to kind of thin that out a bit. And you can see that this hair is really pretty nutty here. I'm just turn on edge faces so that you can kind of see what's going on. And of course the reason for this is if I go into my hair and just reduce the viewport count, you can see that hair is getting generated everywhere on the scalp, like here, 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 and it needs to look for the nearest guide in order to inform it as to uh, how its shape should be. And there really isn't a lot of guides or any guides here, so it has to go all the way back here, and that's where it starts to get its shape, and that's where we start to get really strange hair setup. So in that case, uh, we're going to use a feature called Guide Faces. I'm going to go up to Hair from Guides again. I'll turn on Show End Result. And I'm going to scroll down. You can see that we have this option to say Use Guide Faces. So if I check this, you'll see automatically we'll lose a lot of hair. And the hair that is generated is only going to get generated on the faces that are the closest to the guides. So if I uh, go in here, we can say that, you know, with the iterations, either we want to use one face or two faces or three faces away from where the guides are. So in this case, I just have one face. And because we did that, we removed a lot of hair. And in that case, we're going to add in uh, a bunch more hair. We'll add in maybe 10,000 hairs. And you can see that now the hairs are really following very closely to those guides. And they're only getting generated on the faces that are close to those guides. So there aren't any hairs getting generated over here. Now for a lot of hairstyles this would be problematic, but for this one it actually works pretty well because most of the hair is sweeping back, it's covering any hairs that would get generated here, um, and it's creating the ponytail. And a lot of people like to create their splines and their hairstyles here. Uh, so if we just uh, go down, maybe we can add in one more face, which will give us a little bit more variety here to our hair and I'll turn off edge faces and then we can just kinda add in a bit more hair so I'll go in there add some more hair under render settings so I'll make it a little thinner at the front here so that we can kinda see that there and there we go we've kinda gone in and we've really set our hair to be maybe I'll bring that down to 5000 we've really set our hair to be very very close to the guides and uh, it really follows the shape of our guides. If I just turn this on and off, you can kind of see that this is really following the shape of those splines that we created. So that's a little information about using the guide face option uh, in Hair from Guides in order to get your hair to be generated just near where your guides are planted on the mesh. And this can actually be used, uh, in this case, we really don't need our scalp at all. Uh, we could be growing our hair on the entire mesh if we wanted to, because really we're telling it exactly what faces and the distance of those faces from the guides to grow on. So hopefully that helps you with your grooming and your hair creation with Ornatrix. Thank you very much.